This time on Burnouts and Rotor Blades, we're putting a dash cam in this monster. Welcome to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. Let's go do something awesome. Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you back as always. Now my dad has a small uh, heavy equipment repair business. Um, they repair huge equipment. He would like to have dash cams installed on his entire fleet. Some of the reasons may be apparent to you, maybe not, but essentially you can protect yourself whenever you're on the road uh, from people making false claims or bad driving. But the reason we're installing it today is for uh, a small business owner that wants to protect his fleet, whether he's driving the vehicle or one of his employees is driving the vehicle. That's pretty close. Cool. That's not nearly enough room to work right there, so we'll get this thing all the way in. That is so annoying, Ford. Why? So we're gonna be installing this Blackview DR590X two channel. I've done a few of these installs before and today's a little bit different because we're gonna be using this Power Magic Pro, which is a direct wire in as opposed to using the battery like we did on the Beetle or in the Passat. Now, one of the benefits of working on a service truck is that it already has all the tools that you need. So that's gonna make things really simple. Let's get in here and start taking some stuff apart. Now before we get too far in, let's go ahead and just take a second to talk about wiring and how we're gonna get power to these cameras. So we have our front camera and our rear camera and connecting those two is this coax cable. The front camera does the recording for both and that's where our card goes. You know, of all the times when he could be mowing is not right now. Now to get power up to the camera, we have a couple of different options. We have option one right here is to use this cable which connects to the camera and then just goes down here to the cigarette lighter. Now that setup will do just fine, but depending on how your car is wired, you may not have the ability to have parking mode. A lot of newer vehicles actually cut off power to the, get off of me, cut off power to the cigarette lighter or the power port whenever you turn the ignition off. So you would lose parking mode. These spend a lot of time parked while they're working. It would be really important to see what's going on around them. Now you wanna have the option to do parking mode. That's where this Power Magic Pro comes in. What the Power Magic Pro is set up to do is to just clip into your existing wiring harness using a accessory wire and a all time power wire and a ground so that it can measure voltage and know when your battery's turned on to go to this uh, cigarette lighter plug-in. One of the things I wanna talk about is how the Power Magic Pro tells you that you should do your install compared to how we're gonna do it. I've come over to my truck for a better visual on this. So what the Power Magic Pro wants you to do is take a fuse out, plug it into the hole where the fuse goes, and then shove that fuse back into the hole so that it can get power from the actual like fuse circuitry without actually hardwiring it in. I think that the Power Magic Pro's instructions on how to do the wiring are super hokey and I'm definitely not going to follow those and I don't recommend them. However, if you don't have the skills or ability, it will get the job done, but it is definitely not the right way and for sure not the best way to do it. The third alternative is to have this thing be wired with power at all times and that's what this other section of wire here does it already comes with fuses installed and it goes ground power and accessory it lets the camera know whenever you want to be in parking mode by having accessory power and it always has available battery power so that the camera can be on and recording ford very graciously put all the upfitter switches for your 2019 ford f550 here with a little label we want to use the uh, 20 amp brown and red and the run start brown that's not these are both non switch this one's just switched from the ignition and this one's straight battery power to run our dash camera what we used to verify was this power probe here so I can show you with our with our battery power wire we already did it and that's all it leaves behind is this tiny little hole you can throw this on here then it grabs it and then after it grabs it, it, shoots that little spike out there right into the wire. You can see the little spike sticking out right there. We can put our power probe on it and you can see the power probe is showing it's got 12 volts. We'll shut that guy up. There's a grommet right there that will run the power wires through. For that purpose, We've got this two conductor wire 
with a very simple black and red setup. The red one will be all the time hot and the black one will be the ignition hot. Yep. Already in its own sheath that will push in from the inside there, connect here, and then cut to link. All right, now we have our wire out here. Now the connectors I'm using are heat shrink connectors. So we got the red one, which go on the red. Now we get the crack torch out. We want to do that because these are under the dash, exposed to all kinds of elements, this being a work truck. And that goop that comes squeezed out of the back side of these is glue that's going to help hold them in. You can see just a ring of glue right around there. We'll zip tie all this back up so that it's nice and neat. Looks nice and neat. Now I've just taken the wiring harness and shoved it right up here in the dash. And I'm going to put the Power Magic Pro. I've already closed this and made sure that it'll fit. And it's going to fit right up here like this. The settings that I've selected here are set for, if you read over here, it's 12 volt with uh, uh, blue and then purple. So I got up is blue, two is purple, which is down. And the timer's set for indefinitely. Now, indefinitely just means that this thing is in a monitor. And anytime that you get below 12 volts, as it says here, it's gonna cut the Power Magic Pro off. All that works, it's pretty tight, but it works. All right, so it doesn't say it, but we have airbags, and that adds a whole new level of difficulty to this, except for Ford did a smart thing, and they have their wiring routed up here, so we'll follow suit and run our wiring right down there. We'll grab that one, grab this one. I don't want to cut anything yet because I don't know what kind of length I'm going to need. Shove it down in the dash here arbitrarily. Whew, that is nerve wracking. Now we have to fish our power wire across the front here. Only put as much tape on it as you feel like taking off. There we go. And since Fords are kind of sloppy, we're just gonna pull the front of this down, and this comes right out, and we'll be right about there. We got these pulled out. So the last thing we're gonna do before we're done up here is go ahead and take sticky and stick it up there, put our camera in it, that way our GPS light and all that stuff's upright. First, we're gonna pop this off, and we're gonna take our card, Go ahead and throw it in. 50% chance of getting it right, 100% chance of getting it wrong. Just like a USB. That's in there, you can close this guy up. I'd like it to be shaded as much as possible from the sun because these things do overheat. Wires are just tucked neatly up in the headliner. Um, this is the main power wire. And it's gonna get tucked down here real nice. The other wire for the rear camera shoots up into here. The real key here is to run it behind the airbag right you do not want the when the airbag deploys and pops out you do not want it to be hindered in any way by these cords from protecting the, the occupants so from right there we went behind the airbags all the way down I just tucked it right up underneath here and that will you know this will keep it there I just want to show the process of putting it behind the airbag just pop this trim piece back and now we're just gonna push this right here behind the airbag. And you wanna be very gentle with the airbag, but now it's... Now it's come out the other side. So we're just gonna pull this slack through. And you know, the point of a camera is to keep people safe. And the last thing we want is to have somebody get injured by our installation of the camera. I went ahead and, and spotted the best placement for this little camera. Uh, this is our rear facing camera. Because of some things that are in the bed that are permanently installed in the bed, I offset it this direction. The crane's over that way, so we should be able to get a better view. The rest of this, I'm gonna use. Just shove it up in here, that's fine. And that's all nice. And now it looks like nobody was even there. And because my dirty mitts were touching his window right here, I'll go ahead and clean that. 
But now the back camera installation is done. So let's go up and finish our wiring in, which is really the easy in the last part. Now this here is the power wire that came from the camera up top. And I just went ahead and hacked off this whole end because, well, I don't need it. We have the main power wire and the ground wire. And then this is an accessory wire. Now these are the in wires for the PowerMagic Pro. And this is the out wire from the truck itself. And we're gonna take care of those in a minute. But first we're gonna take the wires, the out wires from the PowerMagic Pro, which are these guys right here. I'm just gonna lop those off at a comfy distance, set them aside because we're not going to need them, drip, strip. and then we'll just connect these here to our camera in wires, mm. battery accessory which is the black one in here, the red one will be all time power which is going to be the red one, connect all this, we'll tidy this up, tuck it up underneath the dash and the next thing we'll do is go ahead and test it and go through some of the features and functions. Now the Blackview camera records really well audio and also pretty good video even if you were to use it inside the vehicle like if you were an uber driver or something or if you want to flip it around and record outside of the vehicle as well in fact this clip is actually one that i ever pulled off of the blackview app the blackview app is very simple to use follow the instructions to connect to the camera's wi-fi connection you'll then be able to access the recorded videos. You can search by video type to narrow down the search from parked, moving, or event files. And you can even search by date. When you find a file you want, you can save the file for download directly to your phone or device. The Blackview app allows you to change sensitivity settings from date, time, GPS, to various data that gets displayed on the recorded videos. Once downloaded, videos can be reviewed with a moving map if GPS is enabled. The help section of the app is where you can watch tutorials or read through the manual for the camera system. This is especially helpful whenever you've forgotten how to connect to your camera after having not done so in a while. Well, it's been a couple weeks and uh, my dad's been living with this thing and well, that keeps happening. I thought it was the stickum that I put onto the windshield, but as you can see, it's actually on the windshield. It's just the part that needs to stick to the actual camera. Down. Some rear view mirror adhesive. We're gonna give that a try. Hopefully it's the right way. Oh my God, come on now. So what I ended up having to do was order another mount off of Amazon. They sell not only the mounts, but they sell the little stick them as well. So you can do either or whatever works best for you. I mostly care about getting it up in this corner nice and neatly. The feature I like the most is the live view. It's useful for making sure your camera is mounted and aimed appropriately, and also doing really silly stuff like this for your entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and want to see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.